Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV is proudly supported by Adventure Spec in England, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, and Adventure Moto in Australia. The Road of Bones is regarded as a memorial by many Russians. Construction commenced in 1932 at the height of the Stalinist era and the road was built by political prisoners, many of whom died during its construction. The road was built on permafrost and the most practical way of burying the dead was to inter them into the foundations of the road. An undignified and tragic end to those that disagreed with the dominant regime of the time. In the distance, a rainbow signalled wet weather ahead. We had been warned that if the first few hundred kilometres of hard packed black soil got wet, it would be a challenge to keep upright. It had been a huge day. We'd been riding from 8am and it was now approaching 11pm. And some of the most challenging riding of the trip faced us, and fatigue was now our enemy. This is our accommodation for the night. It's just like a Belgian motocross track before you even get there. I could very well drop it before I even get in the garage. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Renard. Don't drop it! <laughs> you good? We're heading to Megadon. Yes, we, need, we are on the road of bones. We are on the road of bones. Yes. <laughs> Very interesting. This is like hard packed grease. You know, it seems good, but then you get a bit like just up here. You've just got to try to manage your way through it. There's really nothing as slippery as this. Renat, a breakfast of mud. Yes. Everywhere here is our breakfast will be mud. <laughs> <laughs> we have 200 kilometers of this. Yes, and uh, from Churapcha we made 50. That's not bad. Not bad, but what will be ahead? Yes. Yes, let's go. Okay. That is so slippery. <laughs> come on, cows, give me a break. Hey, come on, give me a break. Hey, the road of bones is like a, just a war of attrition. It's not that difficult, but there's just so much of it. And you've just got to keep on the, keep focused, or you'll, you'll drop the bike. But dropping a bike, all that means is you waste a shitload of energy picking it up and a shitload of time to you could be moving forward. Welcome to the Road of Bones motocross track for 990s. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a race against rain actually. We'd love to get through this now 150 k's of slippery surface before the rain hits us. We're just keeping ahead of the rain. I hope we make it through this black mud section. We've got 120 kilometers to go and then the road improves. But the conditions are tough, but having said that, it's keeping us warm. But if it pisses down rain, this is gonna get really difficult and uh, potentially could stop us getting to Magadan on time. One other thing I forgot about, uh, the cafe owner's telling us there's beers ahead, and that's not schooners, they're the furry kind, furry beers. Yes, sir. 
Okay, and where's Megadon? Here. In that bay. Here. Yeah. We've come a long way. Yes, and uh, first of all, we go to Usnera, and after Usnera, Usnera, Sushuman, and uh, here is Magadan. Mm. Uh, 1,600 kilometers more to Magadan. Street of this village. Well, we've had pretty arduous conditions most of the day. I think I've just about ridden on every road surface known to man from this size round, slimy boulders to mud to white mud to sand. Oh, the list just goes on and on. It had been lightly raining all day, and the vastly different road surfaces meant there were not many times to relax, and you just simply had to stand on the pegs to get the best stability and responsiveness from the 990s. As we moved from the river flats into this ancient mountain range, the cool of altitude combined with soaking rain worked together to drop our body temperatures and let fatigue creep in. Fertile ground for earworms and it didn't take me long to start humming that bloody song Renard introduced me to back in the Altai Mountains. Называется кафе у бобра. Каждый день в 20 вечера за синтезатором появляюсь я. Играю много старой советской фигни. And we're starting to be rewarded with spectacular scenery. Так не смог найти. Тут или лабухом быть, или двор мести. Программа типичная, не дать не взять. И каждый день кто-нибудь нажирается и начинает ко мне приставать. И чтобы как-нибудь разнообразить собственный трек-лист, я решил запеть свои песни. Ведь я голосист. Сочинил песню, пою ее иногда для меня. Whilst the stunning beauty of this land did its best to arouse my senses, the day was taking its toll. Been relentless today. Finally got me. I got, they can see these ruts. And uh, what I've done, I've got one over one side, one over the other. And over I've gone. <laughs> anyway, you can see the bike, make sure it's all right. Песня дерьмо, конечно, но местным нравится. Говорят, у меня талант, и я должен прославиться. Уже толпы на входе в кафе у бобра. Все ждут мою персону, все меня встречают на ура. Хозяин бобра доволен, бабки текут рекой. Renat has found us some accommodation. The closest you'd come to a Sawyer's space station, I suppose. The hut is covered in about, I don't know, a foot of insulation. These flea-bitten beds, my God. Fortunately, we've got our sleeping bags. But the thing is, it's warm and dry. But what happens is, as you come down, again, the whole thing is lined with thick insulation. And then into this nice, toasty area where we can dry our clothes. Did. Uh, over 600 kilometers, sometimes through the mud, sometimes <coughs> through mountains, 
uh, crossed one river <laughs> without bridge. Uh, everything is okay. You wait till you see the outside of this place. Honestly, it is a shithole. <laughs> shithole. <laughs> now I know what is it. Shithole. <laughs> Oh god. I can hear the sand coming out of my eyes and hitting the floor. Listen. I can hear it. Yes, yes. <laughs> An art's eating his sunflower seeds and yes. watching a Russian movie. Come and have a look at the outside of Sputnik 12. Following two huge days where we rode from 8am in the morning to 11 at night on slippery muddy roads that demanded you stood on the pegs, the light rain for the morning meant more of this relentless challenge. But Siberia was about to throw us a wild card. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm fine. The free place on this uh, petrol station. <laughs> this is the old tradition. Uh, keep the sticker on this petrol station. <laughs> There's enough there, isn't there? Yeah. While I get down to editing the next episode of the Russian Magadan motorcycle adventure, here are a couple of links to other adventures that will get you revved up and motivated to get on that bike and go for it. And remember, the world isn't half as scary as the nightly news would have you believe.